Welcome back to another video, and I just want to say it's another great day. Your boy is wearing the shirt again. He's repping the merch, and your boy is very happy. Just wants to appreciate you guys so much for the support. In less than 12 hours, he sold half the merch and half the crates, which is absolutely insane. For everyone that's purchased anything from the store in the last two days, your guys' names are right there. So shout out to everyone right there. I've been making a plaque with everyone's names on it, kind of like those guys are taking it all with me down to the shop because I we literally cleaned up the shop to have a little area designated for you guys all you guys is arts all you guys is support everything's gonna be on that wall if you guys want to be part of the 100k drop make sure you check out that link down below you guys will also be shout out in the next video and be on the plaque and supporting your boy all at the same time so shout out to you guys now for the title of this video you guys are probably uh, wondering uh, Nora, you actually gonna fix that carbon fiber lip as you guys can see I actually thought about it. I went ahead and ordered a carbon fiber repair kit and that carbon fiber lip was somewhat destroyed not completely but then recently I destroyed it completely So unfortunately, I did have to remove the lip. It was completely destroyed, and if anything, it was gonna ruin my bumper, and I didn't want it to ruin my bumper. So you guys didn't know, and I haven't told you guys, because I'm not too proud about it. I've curved this entire wheel, so I will have to get that repaired. I'll probably get it repaired in this video, honestly. And there's something else I've also curved, is my carbon fiber side skirt. Luckily, it's not like too bad. I'm pretty sure this is repairable, so I ordered a carbon fiber repair kit, and we're gonna go ahead and see if this is repairable or not. So here's a quick little before, and uh, let's see what we can do with this. Go ahead and get the car in the garage. So to actually use the carbon fiber repair kit, I do need to sand it down, and then pretty much mix these two together, and then take it and dab it on there. So I don't have something to dab it on there, so I gotta get that from Walmart real quick. We're going to slap on some gloves and head down to Walmart. All right guys, got some water. Gotta stay hydrated, let's head down to Walmart. <laughs> Guys, I saw everybody with toilet paper and I was like getting super happy. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get some toilet paper, but no, it's all gone already. People are already stacked up. Oh man, even to try to do the control thing where it's like one, you know, pack per person, there's still people getting like hella. I don't know how. There's one lady that parked next to me, literally had three. I don't know how. I think she got her kids to help her. That's stingy. I mean, come on. Anyway, let's get our stuff. We just need a brush. This is what we needed, guys, so uh, I think we're good to go. Wait, no, we need masking tape too. Yep, we need some masking tape. So, uh, what is this, $1.50? It's pretty nice. I have links to everything you guys have been needing for this carbon repair and link down below. Yeah, I'm a hypocrite, guys. I got some toilet paper. I mean, I need it. It is what it is. As soon as I was heading out, a friend of mine was telling me how they got toilet paper out again, so I headed down there. I got some. I'm pretty sure this was like $7 for eight rolls of toilet paper. Like, I see what the hell's going on. So you got the 435 finally all bagged up. So you guys can see the horrific gap right now, but just because it's not gonna stay like this, don't worry guys, but I just wanna keep it up this high so I can show you guys the damage. Basically, I went through a drive-thru the other day because you know how the drive throughs are the only things you guys can do nowadays because the whole coronavirus thing, and I curved half of my rim. It literally stops right there. Look how much I curved. Now, you guys are probably gonna look at me and be like, Nor, are you stupid? Do you know how to drive? No, I don't know how to drive. I actually, that was very careless of me and I blame that entirely on me, and it's my fault, yada, yada, yada. I'm not gonna go into all that. I do have somebody that's gonna come repair the rim for me in a day or two for $95. I think it's a pretty good deal. When I pay that $95, I'll learn my lesson. That's a lot of money, and you know, it is what it is. So you guys, you guys can see the damage right here. So I basically wipe my hand. There's no damage to the top of the carbon, which is great. To the side of the carbon, unfortunately, there is a line. Luckily, it did not crack it. I kind of went over it. And uh, it hit it really hard here, but I guess the carbon's really strong. It didn't actually end up messing up. And then uh, the wheel ended up taking a lot more damage than this, which is surprising. Especially the fact that I didn't scrape the rest of it, but it went straight to the wheel and destroyed half the wheel. Luckily that's repairable. Luckily I believe this is repairable. So that is what I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video. So I had to order this kit online. No stores locally had it. I actually ordered it from Walmart. I'm gonna see if this is on Amazon, but if not, I'll link it from the Walmart link down below. I got some masking tape right here from Walmart. I think it was a dollar. I think this was like $26. And then I got this for like 50 cents. This is a whole bunch of sandpaper uh, that I picked up from Amazon. I'll have that link down below as well. That is in today's video. I'm gonna try to repair the carbon. And at the same time, let's see if we could do a mod real quick. I don't know if you guys have ever 
ever seen this mod. I purchased it a long time ago. I never thought about actually doing it. So let's put it on and see how it goes. And if it looks good, we'll keep it on. If it looks bad, we'll take it off. I just don't know how I feel about putting M performance on my car, but you guys know that this car is an M package. So it already has M badges on the car from the factory. So you know, that's fine. If it has M badges, that's fine. It is an M performance car um, it, to a sense. It has the M calipers. These are all factory specs. So I guess I could say M performance is fine as long as it doesn't say M4, anything like that. I hope you guys can forgive me. Now something is going on all over here. This you guys will see in the next video that has to do with the cleaning supplies right here from, from Shine Armor. So yeah, this video is gonna be with this video. All this, when you hear something about detailing the 435 or something to do about cleaning the 435, let's just say the sign in for you guys. There's something big, something I've been trying to collect for a long time now for you guys and it's free because I love you guys. I, 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 I would, I would give a car free, I would give you guys stuff for free. It's just because you guys help me make my life amazing. So I love y'all. So I'm just trying to help y'all out. Anyway, anyway, we'll get to all that in the next video. Make sure you smash that like button if you guys wanna see what's going on there. Cop some merch down below if you love you guy and you're trying to support the next build and get shout out in the next video and have a plaque on the shop. A lot of good stuff. <laughs> well, anywho, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start repairing the carbon. I, I really wanna see if this is repairable. So I think the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is just mask off the area that I don't wanna sand. So I mask off like right here, all the way up top and then bring it down. Let's go ahead and mask it. All right guys, now that we got where we wanted actually masked off, let's go ahead. You guys can clearly see the damage, right? Like all this is destroyed and this is how it's supposed to look. Just beautiful carbon glistening and this is how it's not supposed to look. So uh, let's hopefully get, uh, let's get most of this stuff fixed up. I think we're gonna go ahead and start off with 100 grit. Let's see if we got the hit that I'm linking down below. It only comes with 150 to 3000. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 150. So I went ahead and sanded it with 150. I'm just gonna go ahead and just wipe off all this extra gunk. Let's go ahead and do 100, uh, no, let's not do 150, let's, do, let's go jump straight to uh, about 300, about 300 grit. 320 grit included in the pack. Let's go ahead and just sand it. <laughs> Basically trying to get off all that extra stuff. Uh, we want it as smooth as possible. So I just remember you do need some alcohol to pretty much just get this thing prepped up for some resin, which is the coat that you're putting on this to fix it all. So far it's printed, it's sanded pretty well. Um, I, you basically just want it to be as smooth as possible. Down here, I can actually see the carbon is slightly cracked, but you're never gonna see any of that from the bottom end. Uh, so hopefully this should at least look good from anybody from the side portfolio. Let's go get some uh, rubbing alcohol and just wipe this down. Rubbed it down with some alcohol now. Uh, I think it's time for the resin. So we're about to get ready to put on the resin. So a resin and hardener, it comes as a kit. You obviously just mix this. It's actually a one to one ratio. So whatever you use from this, use from this. I've heard you should only use a little bit and a little bit at, you know, at the same time. If you put too much of it, it's gonna be too concentrated and it might even go through the cup. It creates heat when they're combined or something like that from what I read online. So I'm only gonna use a little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna mix it up with this side of the stick and I'm gonna go ahead and use this side of the stick to apply it. So uh, it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll show you guys how I'm doing it. Now that we have already shucking it up, we can go ahead and apply it on here, just like that. I'm gonna let this dry up and then sand it all in a few hours. So uh, I do see a little bit of uh, dripping. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just wipe all that off. Just so I don't have to do as much sanding later. And all these little bubbles, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe them. All right, we'll get back to this hopefully in a few hours. I'll check back to you guys probably like so yeah, we'll come back in like two or three. All right guys, it's been a couple hours. I enjoyed some grapes, I enjoyed the salad, and I also worked on some of your guys' packages. You guys have ordered an insane amount of packages. I need to order packaging and a whole bunch of supplies to make sure I can get this out to you guys in the classiest way possible. I'm trying to make the packaging experience nice for you guys. I don't wanna just put it in an envelope and call it a day. I'm trying to, I'm try, I wanna do the I wanna do the most for you guys. Anywho, uh, lovely day here in California. Let's see how, how the lip is doing so far. Not the lip, I mean the side skirt. So this is how it's looking right now. It's actually looking so good and this is without even sanding it and putting compound or anything look at that guys all those scratches are gone you guys can see this is where all the scratches were with all those bubbles on the bottom I'm going to see if that just comes off yeah they can just take it all off just like that it still hasn't a hundred percent dried off but uh 
Guys, that's already looking a million times better. I think I'm gonna have to wait this off for another day. Meantime, we just go wipe, wipe around it and see how it looks uh, without all this dust all around it. All right, guys, I went ahead and wiped everything down. Let me know. Yeah, there's the damage right there. So you guys can only see the damage on the top here. It has like two dots there, three dots there. And that's apparently because the carbon fiber is also cracked on the top and I didn't go over that with resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over this portion with resin. And then this whole section here should be good. The bottom portion, as you guys can see, is separated and cracked, but you won't ever see that. Like you see the carbon fiber side skirt from this angle, and at least you don't see any cracks, which is good. You do see those, which are previous marks, that's just regular wear and tear, which looks a lot better. I mean, I can honestly live with that. Right now, as it sits, without sanding it or anything, it looks amazing. Like, I'm actually really happy with this. But since I already know that I could possibly fix this, let me go ahead and just repair it real quick. So you guys will see that. So that's the before. All right, guys, this is the after. I applied the second layer. You guys can already see it's pretty much already, like, almost gone. That, those little two pieces are almost gone over here. These two bigger pieces are almost filled in. Basically, what this stuff does is that it fills in the carbon cracks. So you might have to go over this like 10 times to fill it in completely, but it will basically do the job and fill in the carbon and make it smooth. And then basically the whole sanding process is to make it all level. I think I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm not gonna go ahead and get compound or anything like that. You guys already know that all my stuff is at the shop and unfortunately a lot of stores are closed unless they're like a Walmart or whatever and they don't have everything that I actually need for this job. Or if they do, it's way more expensive than the actual paint store. Guys, so we have these carbon, we don't have carbon, these are just gloss wrap, uh, pretty much side decals for the side skirts. So hopefully they come, guys, honestly, this repair is so much better. You guys can't even tell there was a giant scratch right there. I'm so happy with that. Hopefully get this room repaired and as if nothing really happened to the side. Honestly, I was really upset at the moment. I did some research and thankfully this is repairable. I'm gonna go into more in depth on the repair, hopefully in a future video when I'm at the shop. I'll have all my equipment over there. I'll make it absolutely as perfect as possible, show you guys the results. But as of now, I mean, look at it. And this is where it was damaged. I think it came out really good. Anyway, let's go ahead and install those decals. I hope they'll come out sick. We'll see. Let's just try it. Why not, you know? Honestly, I've never done this before. I don't know if it's easy. I don't know if it's hard. So I'm going to go ahead and just attempt it with my brother on this side. If we fail, I'll take it off. I'll show you guys on the other side how to do it. And then uh, lesson learned. If I like it on the other side, I'll go ahead and reorder it for this side. And I'll do it both at the same time another day. I think it looks kind of hard, honestly, because this thing has a giant gaping angle. And I do have these carbon fiber side skirt extensions that I hold on by 3M and a bunch of screws. And I don't want to take them off. So we'll see. If it comes out good, we'll keep it on. And I'll show you guys how to do it. If it looks bad, you guys are about to find out. All right, guys. So this is how the car is looking right now with the, with the little decals on the sides. Me and my brother messed up really heavily on it, so I don't even want to, like, let me show you. Actually, I'm just gonna show you guys because this is what happens when you buy a cheap version of it. You guys can see the vinyl is just, it, it's not even vinyl. It actually said, it said do not heat. Like, if it's vinyl, you're supposed to heat it. When we heated it, it warped the whole thing. So, yeah, I, I don't really listen to rappers when it's clearly vinyl, but anywho, it looks terrible. Um, it actually doesn't look terrible. Like, it looks pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't do a great job putting it on, so, it looks wavy, I don't like it. But also with the carbon, it kind of throws it off. Like it just doesn't look right. It actually makes like the car this carbon fiber side skirt look non-carbon. So let me just go ahead and take that off. So carbon repair kit was a pretty good deal. So you guys can clearly see there's something over here. The box is not labeled. You guys cannot see that. There's something over here for this baby right here. And then I actually got that and that. I, I, I don't think you guys can guess what those can possibly be. But yeah, we got some new mods for this car. I, I just went ahead and ordered the wrap in so you can go ahead, replace all these parts in the front end and then get it all wrapped up. I'm pretty stoked on these new pieces because they're gonna change the whole front end. Plus, as soon as I get the new lip, I'm still talking to Keys about that. They're creating a new V2 of the carbon fiber lip to have better fitment. So as soon as they release those, I'm gonna actually have a better carbon fiber lip to the front end. Yeah, as you guys can see, repairing carbon fiber is definitely possible. Honestly, it looks, guys, what the hell? It looks brand new. You guys can't even tell anymore. 
Oh my god, that's so sick. So yeah, if you guys got like a rock chip on your carbon fiber mirror caps, or you kind of destroyed your side skirts, or maybe got a rock chip on your front carbon fiber lip, this kit is completely useful for all that. So I'm gonna have that kit linked down below for you guys. Don't forget to cop some merch to be shot on the next video, and let me know what's the next build you guys wanna see for 100K. What do you guys wanna see as the next build on this channel from the ground up? I'm still building the 435, it's my main daily driver, but I wanna start an insane build, so this is the time, 100K guys. I want to do something insane, maybe like something in the same level as a 435, like something in the same level, but we're going to make it insane. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I know you guys are ready for it. So let me know down below. And if you guys are wondering what's going on over here, make sure you smash the like button. I'll let you guys know in the next video. All right, guys. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.